Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert audio files into your presentation to add narration or sounds to your slides. Like videos, you can insert sounds from an online resource or you can insert them from audio files on your computer. PowerPoint 2013 can insert many types of audio files, such as MP4, MP3, WMA, and WAV files. You can also record and insert a sound into a presentation, which we will learn how to do in a later lesson within this chapter. To insert audio into a slide, click the Audio drop-down button in the Media Button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then either select the online audio command to insert audio from an online resource or select the audio on my PC command to open up the insert audio dialog box to insert an audio file from your computer. In the insert audio dialog box, navigate to the folder that contains the audio file, click it to select it, and then click the insert button to insert it. If you select the online audio command, you can search for an online audio file by typing a term to search for it into the office.com clip art field and then clicking the search button to the right of the field. You can then select an audio file from the result set and click the insert button to insert the selected audio file. After inserting the file, you can select when to play it by clicking the playback button within the Audio Tools contextual tab in the ribbon with the audio object selected. You can use the Start drop-down in the Audio Options button group to select automatically to have the media play by itself or on click to play when the audio is clicked. You can select the audio file to move and resize it as you would with a picture or video. You also have many formatting options available on the Format tab within the Audio Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. You will have many of the same formatting options available as when formatting shapes or pictures. On the Playback tab within the Audio Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, you can also set additional playback options in the Audio Options button group if the commands are supported for the selected audio clip. You can also use the Editing button to trim the audio or to have the audio fade in or out during the slide. You can click the Play button in the Preview button group on either tab within the Audio Tools Contextual tab to preview the audio file within the normal view of your presentation. If you would like to have the audio play as background music across your slides within your presentation, then click the Play in Background button within the Audio Styles button group on the Playback tab within the Audio Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Doing this will set all of the necessary options for that feature within the Audio Options button group for you. If you later decide you would like to revert the audio clip back to its default settings, then click the No Style button within the Audio Styles button group on the Playback tab within the Audio Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to remove the audio effect options. If like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.